Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the largest inflatable tent that you can buy at least on Amazon. And for the next 24 hours, we're gonna be staying in it, surviving in the Everglades on a place called Survivor Island. It's technically only called that because I nicknamed it that like five years ago, but even more cool than that is all the adventures we're gonna do. And I cannot wait to show you all the cool features that this tent has. This thing even has a sunroof. It, it has two sunroofs. Two sunroofs. Okay, God, dude, why did we pick the most windy day to do this? Well, we picked it because it's sunny today. And as you can see, it's not sunny it's, today. Yeah, it is not so, dude, it, the weatherman lied. If I was still on the weather <sighs> channel, I... If you were still on the weather channel. Well, we brought a little too much because there's no room to sit on the boat, bro. Brandon, what do we need all this for? I thought we were just bringing a tent. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, this... It's full, dude. There's nowhere to do anything. It's very full. Are we overweight? We're overweight without four people on it. But it's going to be funny putting this in the water, and it's going to be even more fun seeing this thing is not going to get up on plane. And we have to literally go 80 miles into the swamp. It's probably going to take us two hours. And by the way, we have like 12 gallons. It's also oddly cold right now. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Florida. OK, let's go. It was supposed to be like 79 degrees and sunny, and we were lied to. Gotta get her on plane, boys. Gotta get her on plane. Alright, here we go. Right. Let's get it. Nothing! Nothing! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! This is Survivor Island. This is where some of the biggest trees are. It's the only chunk of hard land. And they call it Survivor Island because as you travel around the Everglades, if you ever get lost, you can look up and you can actually see these trees across the plain of the Everglades. Pretty cool spot. It's what we call home for the night. One of my favorite spots back in the day was this dock. It goes all the way out into the marsh. Beautiful, beautiful Everglades out there. I remember fishing out there but I don't remember it being this sketchy. This is, this is real sketch. This is, this is pretty bad. Okay, okay, so maybe not too bad. This is like some of my favorite stuff, man. I'm a Florida boy through and through and nothing makes me happier than the good old Florida Everglades. All of these plants filter and make some of the cleanest water in the world and they're all surrounded with things that want to kill you. Alligators, snakes, you name it, it's here. Pythons now, we have to freaking worry about that. That's in, it's your bed. It's the house, baby. Ugh. This is the world's largest. Oh, God, it's tripping. Oh, it's also the world's heaviest freaking inflatable house. The world's largest inflatable house. Yeah, it's heavy. Heavy house, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, it's officially time to unravel and set up the world's largest Dude, That's not good. dude, I could have brought a pump, I got an electric pump. <laughs> Nothing has happened yet. Let's go, Bridget! Oh, dude, it's coming together, bro. I really hope it's not three feet tall. I feel like we've been bamboozled. <laughs> this is a perfect tent for me, but everybody else who's not vertically challenged. Wait, this is really it, huh? Oh my God, dude, this is it. Wait, I think it gets a little taller. No way. How? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it does. It does. It gets like a foot. It gets, it gets much taller. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Now we're going somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. 
Well, we got her done, boys and girls. We got ourselves an inflatable tent, but it's more than a tent. It's kind of resembling a cabin. It's really throwing massive cabin vibes, uh, plus the old sunroofs there. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm only disappointed with this side because I think there was some false advertising going on. It looked like there was four sunroofs, but we only got two. Time to take you inside and give you a little tour before we make this house a home. It's massive in here. It's massive, dude, look at this. It's freaking huge in here. The sunroofs bring in a lot of light. Dude. And they look sick on camera. What are your thoughts? It You've been chilling in here. Like, dude, it, it's like a little cabin. Like, it's like, I feel like I'm in a cabin right now. Like, up north in the woods, surrounded by bears. It's pretty sturdy air, though. It is like, sturdy. Dude, it is sturdy. It I'm is. leaning on this like it's yeah. an actual wall. Yeah, I know you guys can't tell, but I'm. I'm giving that a grip, yeah, I'm dude. Like, I'm grabbing I'm that. Ripping it, dude. I'm grabbing it. All right, let's go over some functions. She's bare bones, but just go ahead. We're standing in the back corner. There's a ton of room. You look like 45 foot away. Bro, it is spacious. It it actually is spacious. And this house could have been a hot house, a hot tent. A wood stove could go here. You could technically cook on it. You can close all this up and it heats up this whole area. It's fully removable. We didn't get the wood stove because, well, I'm in a tank top, okay? We don't need any warmth. It's a little cool here, but it's like perfect Florida weather. We have all the windows open right now, but they're all mesh. Uh, so the mosquitoes can't get in, at least hopefully. We actually have plastic uh, clear things that zip over. So if it rains, but you still wanna be able to see out and have light, you can put on your plastic windows and they're crystal clear, you can look out. So we'll put those on tonight. We can look at the stars, dude. It can be romantic as hell and look at the stars, dude. so romantic. That's what I'm saying, bro. We can look at the stars in the cabin. All right, <laughs> we're almost done in here. I can't wait to show you guys, but look, Brenton got me a housewarming gift. Home sweet home. And it's got the uh, little paw prints because Reef couldn't be with us. Way too many alligators. Also airplanes apparently, but pretty sweet. So, we just finished setting up our camp and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this might be the coolest thing that we have ever done. So, we wanna do it in other cool places and I wanna make a deal with you guys. If we get 6,969 likes, then we'll take this cabin and everything you see with us and do it on the ice for 24 hours and like ice fish and stuff. But it's only if you guys wanna see it because honestly, I hate the cold and I love the sunshine, but I think it could be awesome. 600, 9,000, no, <laughs> 6,969 likes. Let's make it happen. All right, now onto the tour. First up, we've got our campfire. Nothing that speaks cozy camping like a good old campfire, so we set up four seats as well. Next up, we have what Brenton has deemed our outdoor food accommodation center. And we got some good stuff dialed up here. We've got a bunch of ingredients down below, but we've got our pots, our pans, we've got our Uncle Bucks and Frank's Red Hot for a good old catch and cook, which might be coming up here in a minute. We've got our grill, we've got our utensils, somebody's propel, and of course our coffee machines, which by the way, we've got a custom Yeti cup that one of you guys sent us. So we really appreciate that. They actually sent it to me, Travis, and the Nautical Bros. Very cool. After you eat, of course, dude, gotta grab some of these. Not sponsored, I just genuinely love them. Unless it's below zero, then they do turn into a block of ice. Just note that. We also have in this comfy chair, the most aesthetic man on the planet. Brenton. Also known as Daddy. Now this is the moment you guys have been waiting for. Let's go ahead and take a tour inside. Well, here is home sweet home. Absolutely beautiful. We've got the two cots. This is actually where me and Travis are gonna be sleeping. So this one's mine. We've got how to eat in the freaking woods and bushcraft 101. Am I gonna be reading these? Absolutely not. Is it aesthetic? Absolutely. So we've got Travis side over here and then we've got Brenton. He's got a nice view. He's gonna be laying down here looking out among the stars while I'm gonna be in here looking straight up, which could be absolutely awesome. But uh, Brenton's bed's a little interesting to say the least. He's got uh, some goldfish, which is very Brenton of him, but and he also has 
the eggplant, which I <laughs> just, I've got a lot of questions. I got a lot of questions and I don't want answers to any of them. So uh, that is the inside of our cabin. We've got all of our power banks as well um, that we have collected over sponsorships the last few years, which is pretty awesome. We're also gonna be using those for a very special thing tonight. It's gonna be freaking sick. So that pretty much concludes our house tour. We've got everything set up, camp is ready, and now it is time for good old swamp catch and cook. And apparently our house tent it's a, is a boy. It's a boy. It's, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. Where did you have that? In my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna have to come up with boy, boy camp names in the comments. Oh yeah, drop your best boy camp tent name. Big Billy is mine. Big Blue Billy. <laughs> oh dude, that looks like a... That was good, you look good. Thanks dude, yeah. I... You look real good. This kid is full of spray, I had no idea you had that. <laughs> let's, let's shoot some, let's eat, let's get a fed. My brain, my brain. That's a peacock. Yeah, it was definitely a peacock. Okay. There you go. There you go. Now my turn. Um, okay. It's about to get eight. Good job. I thought I saw a little ripple behind. Got him. Wow. Wow. Wow, dude. Good thing we drove all the way to the Everglades, bro. Hold that thing up to the camera, dude. How's it look compared to me? <laughs> Jeez, bro. Wow. Let's, uh, let's, let's just talk about how ambitious this guy is dude look at that unreal all right well see you buddy Woo, dude feisty little guy i was excited dude that little cut i was like man this is the one and when i got a bite you know we've been seeing uh peacocks we've seen bass we've seen oscar so you don't know what you're gonna get they'll all eat a shiner like this but um got our first little bass can't eat that guy in here boys we do have some small fires going on but don't you worry they're controlled the smoke is not controlled I think we're gonna rip one of these windows off uh, it's, it's like we're freaking hot box in this tent in the tab smoky in here buddy oh god oh god We're gonna do an old taste tester here. Cheers, folks. Mm. It's a potato roll. Well, it just got a little dark. Show you how dark it is outside. I mean, we're all out here, about to get the fire going. And a gator showed up to camp. Where'd he go? He's coming oh, he's, he's right there. Come here. I'm so much better at lighting fires than you did. <laughs> I got a magic cup <laughs> of magic fluid. Well, alligator <laughs> and camp, dude. That's just a little too close for comfort. Why is he just chilling like that? Cheers. Oh man, I hit that hard. Yeah. Cheers to good friends by a good fire with full bellies. But now, it's officially time to do a catch and cook. And by catch and cook, I mean shoot a fish in the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll cook them tomorrow. <laughs> Was that her? 
<laughs> she didn't even move. <laughs> she didn't even move. She's still blind. Got it. Doom. <laughs> okay. Is that high? <laughs> okay. You're gonna be mad at this. Dude, it literally didn't move. It didn't move, dude. You got this, guys. <laughs> you got it? Yep. Give me a second. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Dude. Alright. It's all dude. you. Oh my where, god, where all behind go? it, all behind it. There she goes, dude, there she goes. Oh, into the darkness. I can't. It was like a dude, foot behind it. Dude, I can't. <laughs> there's a gator right behind it. Okay, there's dude, a dude, gator. Look at the gator. Oh, I thought I had him. Whoa. Wow. That's pretty crazy, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty awesome. That is an alligator. His eyes are open, too. Oh, there he goes. See it, buddy? So oh, that is epic, dude. Very freaking cool. It's actually a little bigger than we thought. Just crawling on the bottom, bro. Whoa. That's pretty freaking awesome. This is it. This is it. Oh my God, not even close. It ran into your arrow, dude. It ran into your arrow. Last one, because we're going to hit it, dude. We're going to hit it, bro. All right, are you ready? Yep. Three, two, hold on. Three, two, one. Please. I didn't get him. Please. Please, God. <gasps> yeah. I got him! I got him! Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Yes, dude! Oh. Yes, bro! Thank God. Oh my gosh. I know. Listen, listen, I know. You probably think we're being freaking dramatic. Well, let me tell you something. We have shot. I stoned her, too. Look at that. Yeah, she's done for. She's stoned. All the way. We have shot probably 300. Okay, 300 is dramatic. But I would say, seriously, we were probably closing in on 50 shots. And they were all tilapia in like six foot of water. Insane. We were shooting like two foot below them. It was nuts. Finally got our tilapia. She's like absolutely stoned. She was like dead on impact, which is sick. We're going to throw her on ice for the night and we're gonna have her as an appetizer in the morning or breakfast, tilapia breakfast. My God, what a adventure that was. Let the socks smoke out for a bit. Got nice and dry, nice and toasty for tonight. There we go. The boys buttoned up the cabin for the night. Wow, dude. What a vibe we have in here, boys. It's getting nice and toasty. You comfortable back there, buddy? Dude, so Brenton brought some mood lighting and uh, I have the flash on right now but it's honestly the perfect amount of light. Also, buddy, I, I got your socks. They're, they're dried out. They smell like campfire <laughs> and they're a little singed, but they're gonna be dry. So here's the deal. Got the little cot right here. Me and Travis have the little cots, but honestly, they're super, super comfortable. And this is the best part. I know you guys can't see it. <laughs> the camera doesn't do it justice, but you are able to look straight up and see. And my favorite part is right behind me. And that's the campfire out there. Just the ambiance is so sick. So we're gonna get some rest. We got tilapia in the boat, finally. We got a fish in the boat. And uh, yeah, we got gators on the bank. <laughs> and we're gonna get some rest. See you later. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm getting blasted. <laughs> blasted by the freaking sun. Uh, that's a good thing, though, because last night was, what was it? Mid-40s? Low-40s? Low-40, mid-40 degrees. 
However, here's the problem. Uh, I dried my socks out on the fire. You guys might remember that. My sock caught on fire in the fire, so I got holes in my toes. Uh, so my feet were absolutely freezing. And uh, even worse than that, while these cots are comfortable, we were just laying straight up on the cot and then we had our blanket on top. And we basically had, uh, how do I explain this? Just wind, just cold air under us the entire time. So Travis and I literally froze. We put our hoodies on our feet and don't, don't you worry, I wasn't just in this short sleeve. I was wearing three hoodies. I just took them off because it's finally warm in here because the sun is out. The cabin is a 10 out of 10 if you have a heater. I retract my statement. It's a nine. It's a nine only because it's a nine out of ten only because well we woke up to having to repump up the tent because it collapsed on us <laughs> because when it gets cold air shrinks and the, all the air in this shrinks and so it's less filled up with air so we had to pump more air but now that it's warm and warming up these things are freaking rock hard. Cheers from camp, folks. Everybody's up and moving now. It's decided to be nice and warm out and not frigid cold like it was last night. Everybody was pretty much miserable. We all talked this morning. Everybody was cold. It freaking sucked. But uh, I know you're probably wondering about the fish. We have a funny little surprise about the fish in the boat. So, turns out uh, we put the fish in the cooler on ice, you know, being responsible. Uh, but the arrow was stuck in the fish's head um, and we couldn't really get it out. So I put the fish on ice in the cooler with the arrow sticking out of it. So we couldn't shut the cooler all the way. Here's the funny part. This morning, I go over to the boat and I just see stuff everywhere. Ice, I see lures, I see all types of stuff everywhere. Turns out a raccoon we're suspecting got into our cooler, pulled out the fish, and ate it. It's, it looks bad, it's terrible. Uh, and basically destroyed the inside of our boat, uh, well, with lures and stuff like that. It's just stuff is everywhere. So, uh, with that being said, we will not be doing the, the cooking part of the tilapia, unfortunately. But it didn't go to waste. Uh, technically, Trav made a good point. He said it went to a local family just the family of raccoons so uh they kind of got one on us there but it's funny i want to share with you guys i can't show you because it's pretty <laughs> slimy and uh well there's a lot of red going on over there and youtube doesn't like that too much well folks we finally made it and uh we survived 24 hours it wasn't really a survival mission it was more so checking out the tent inflating it for the first time and just going out there and having a good time honestly it was an absolute blast i cannot believe we did not absolutely smashed the fish while fishing and bow fishing it was brutal i don't know what happened i think all those fish aren't in the canals they're like deep in the glades because it's shallower there which means the water warms up quicker i don't know listen i'm not a fish scientist all i know is that we are finally done we made it back in one piece and that's probably the heaviest my boat has ever been <clears throat> hey good sir big shout out to you for joining me thank you so much um you guys obviously know who Fanatic is, but he's actually on his way to go make a boat purchase. And if you guys have seen my channel, you know I'm a big fan of boat purchases, so go over there and see what he got. It's probably, gonna be good. Probably not the best idea. No, it's it was great. It was approved by you. Yeah, I like it. All right. I, I like it. So go check it out. Uh, I will see you soon. 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 All right. <laughs> and uh, with that being said, look, that's gonna wrap it up. We've got the boat uh unloaded we've got the truck loaded back up and it was an absolute blast uh remember 6969 likes we will take the tent and go to the ice i think that could be really fun and then 9696 likes we will do 24 hours in a uh tree i think those are like those and that is pretty much it we've got a long ride home and uh everglades you were good to us thank you so much and uh catch you guys on the next one is that how I do my outros? I, don't know. I feel like I know it's been a long time. I feel like I. I don't know. No, I.
<laughs> Dude, I'm my brain. I actually can't remember. Yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next adventure. Oh no, I kiss him, right? Oh yeah, I get him. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's been a long time, bro. I'm back, baby! <laughs> For now! <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm back, seriously. I took a big break. You guys probably noticed it. And if you're new to the channel, then it's like I never left. All right, I'll see you guys.